Don't you love my hat? I also made the mistake of just having, I, I had a second serving of my favorite uh, Genetics HD. And um, I forgot how much makes my lips blue. So hopefully you guys will just disregard that. Um, and because I know you're going to ask, isn't this cute? It's a Mondetta top um, that they gave me a while ago. And it's actually kind of starting to get big. This is a size medium uh, around the middle. And here's another good thing. My uh, polar heart rate monitor, my chest strap that is on, well, of course you can't see it. Um, I'm having to tighten all of them, you know, because I have like several backups that I rotate. So like I finish with my workout now, I'll take this off. Always, I wash it after each one. Um, hand wash and then like once a week I wash them, whatever. But I hand wash it and let it dry and so I have like three of them. So that three or four of them, uh, the straps. <sighs> because I'm working out a lot and sometimes it might not be ready. Um, but I'm finding that as I'm working out, these are like falling down, which is a good sign because that means that we're losing weight. Um, things are going really, really well. But anyway, I just finished a little bit of special quality time with my BFF. Don't stop. Hold on. I think I pressed something funny. I did press something funny. Hold on. What did I do to you? Uh-huh. Three. You can count them with us. Two. Get ready. Left foot step out. Out. Uh. Do it again. So watch the feet. Your turn. I must have uh, done like a slow turn. rewind. The long turn. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Do it again. Three. Um, the reason that I wanted to come out here right after my workout is A, uh, so I just did, this was one of his, the ones that I marked. Remember I told you I went through all of my DVDs because I have so many DVDs and um, you know I found myself having a couple of habits. One that I would always do kind of like I think a lot of us do. We tend to we tend to keep doing the things that we like and we avoid doing the things that we don't like. Not to say that I don't like my Rev Abs videos with Brett Hobel. I've liked them. The problem is sometimes you know when you get these um, workout packages from Beachbody they have a ton of workouts. Um, in, in a package, and I think, I just know what my tendency has been. Like I would get insanity, and then I would do the first uh, video, plyometric cardio circuit, which I've done about eight zillion times, because I love it. But then I tend to keep, I open it up and go, oh, do I wanna go to the next one up? Or the, you know, do I wanna try this one? No, I really like plyometric cardio circuit. So then I keep doing the same ones, and then I have all these extra DVDs, and I haven't either even a, opened them up and tried them, so I don't even know if I like them, or I've forgotten, you know, oh, is this half an hour, is this 20 minutes, whatever. They're getting a lot better about labeling. Um, I think one of the most excellent ones is um, Shaleen's Turbo Fire, because each one has a number in it. Like, it'll say, hit 20, or um, hardcore hit 55, and then you know that's a 55-minute workout. You know that this one's low impact. You, she's labeled them all, and my God, there's so many. But I had taken... All of my um, Tony Horton one-on-ones, my Rev Abs, my P90, well, P90X, I didn't need to label those. Um, but any DVDs that I had that I hadn't already labeled, I've done this a lot in the past. I'd, I'd label how long it is, if it's, you know, if I put it as a four or five star workout, meaning is it a really hardcore sweat fest, um, then I'll label it. But anyway, here's a couple of things. So. I put this I put this in today and, and I did a great workout so it was about 45 minutes I'm gonna say 300 calories I'm gonna and I'm gonna label this when I'm done um, the reason I'm saying 300 is I know that I put my heart rate monitor on and I started walking around and then I got an email that I had to respond to so you know I'm taking away like 20 calories because it took me you know I walked around did a bunch of stuff anyway I digress as I was doing this I remembered um, how the first time I did this, there's there's certain moves, and I don't know if you guys do this, but I think sometimes I've done this with Valerie Waters workouts, where I would either get the DVDs and I'd preview it, or I'd see like she has the printed version of a certain um, a certain move, and I'm like, oh, 
I already know how to do that. That's not going to be hard. That's not going to. I'm not going to use five pound weights. Like I would, I would just look at everything and 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 think that it was not going to be hard enough. It was not going to be a good enough workout. You know, and, and I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's just me being skeptical or if that's just me trying to, you know, find a way not to do it or whatever. All that said, you're only punishing yourself when you do that. To, to at least not give it the full effort. And then number two, really pay attention when instructors like this are teaching you how to do certain moves. Over the weekend, as I was working out and I, I remembered something I learned from this, because my abs were killing me the next day and I was very surprised. And then um, I learned something over the weekend when I was doing some of the <sighs> Les Mills. Well, it was, it was actually something that Shalene was talking about in Turbo Fire as far as the front kick, okay? And you guys know I've, I've loved kickboxing for a long time. Um, and I, I love Billy Blanks. He doesn't tend to do as much instruction. Well, maybe he does. Um, what is it that I've been complaining about with his videos is that the latter ones, they're, they're too basic, they are too much instruction. Well, I haven't been going through the instruction because I'm like, I know how to do everything. I learned this weekend that one of the, the kicks I've been doing, um, I haven't necessarily been focusing the right way and I've kind of been missing out on some extra oomph that you can add. So don't ever think that you're beyond instruction. Not that I do because I'm not a trainer. Um, so I need to be instructed, but sometimes you think, I got this. I know how to do a sidekick. I know how to do a roundhouse. I know all this stuff, whatever. So I was doing um, Shalene's Turbo Fire, and she was talking about how to do a front kick, and she was talking about pushing, and I'm like, I already do that. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Am I really doing it the way that she's saying it? And it was just something as simple as when you, and for those of you that have done kickboxing, if you know, you know you're, you're standing, obviously, facing forward, right? And... But what I've been tending to do when I do a front kick is, maybe you try this at home, you know, get ready to do a, a front kick and point your toe. If you point your toe, it's a toe, and, and you kick like that. So you lift your leg up, so it's perpendicular to you, right? So you lift your leg up like this, not that you can see. <laughs> we'll do videos when I have people, Michael over and we can shoot some of these. Um, but you lift your leg up like that, and then, so here's your, here's your knee, and this is your leg. Now, if you kick out like that and your foot is pointed, that's one way of doing that kick. I think that I've always tended, maybe not. I certainly have done some, but why don't you try this at home? Kick out when your foot is pointed, and then like a ballerina, and then kick out when your foot is flexed, okay? Those are two different moves, but the difference that she was saying, that Shalene was saying with this front kick is she's like, and then they said this in Les Mills, um, body combat. They were like, when you do the front kick, lean back and push with your foot. And I was like, Phew. you know, and then I stopped for a minute, got over myself, and, and then actually took the time to compare what I was doing, which was more like just the regular front kick with my body upright. And then I did the like, the leaning back. And then when you push out, and let me tell you, you're totally feeling it in a different place in your abs. You're totally feeling that you're, you are pushing out and it's, it's a totally better, it, I don't want to say, it's a different move, it's, it's, it's better, okay? So then I was doing my um, Eladia uh, DVD, the, the um, Body Strikes DVD. Didn't I say this is going to be three minutes? Of course not. Um, so I did Body Strikes DVD and then I realized that all the time I've been doing hers, she's been saying the same thing. And I haven't been listening. So she's been saying, when you do the front kick, I want you to push. And I have not been focusing on pushing. It's a totally different move when you do a front kick where you're just kicking out. And then when you're kicking out and pushing, try it. It's like, so the whole point, the reason that I wanted to come out here, the reason I was so on fire to come out here and tell you this, you know, Babylonathon, is that, you know, number one, sometimes you can have um, some workouts that you've bought. And, and like me, you've been you've been ignoring them because you keep going back to the same favorite thing. It's like me making turkey meatloaf. I keep making turkey meatloaf instead of trying something new. So I'm excited that now I am, I have all of these great videos. I've labeled them all and I'm, you know, each week I'm adding two or three new ones. You know, yeah, I do like to try them so that I can get the moves down, but I'm constantly adding new ones. And then furthermore, I guess my other takeaway from this is pay attention to the instructions and 
don't look at a certain move. Like you might have just seen what I showed you the preview of Rev Abs and go, that doesn't look that hard. Let me just tell you something, okay? A lot of workouts I have looked at, and you guys have seen me review these over the years, I have looked at and said, that doesn't look that hard. Like Jackie Warner, I've looked at those and I'm like, 30 minutes, hello, and she's using five pound weights. That workout, that time saver workout with Jackie Warner kicks my ass every time. It's not necessarily a, a workout that I'm doing right now based on the kind of training focus that I have, but it is a fantastic workout. I love it, highly recommend it. So don't look at something and go, oh, that doesn't look that hard until you try it, okay? There's always a way too that when you have a workout, you can make it harder. I've told you guys this before. When you go into something like this or Les Mills Combat or Turbo Fire, or whatever it is that you have, once you gain a familiarity with the moves and what's coming, there's, there can be that 30 seconds where they're taking time to break a move down. That's when you can jog in place, that's when you can do your kicks faster, that's when you can add more punches. Get creative, people. But all I'm saying is, I remember when I first did um, Brett's rev abs, and I was like, oh, this doesn't look that hard. This isn't gonna be that killer cardio. That's exactly what I was thinking. Number one, 45 minutes, just like some of these other workouts that I'm doing, a 300 calorie burn, that's about typical for me, having a really nice sweat fest, which goes back to, Get yourself a heart rate monitor and don't be fooled <laughs> by um, crazy classes that say you can burn a thousand calories in an hour or, or if you're on a treadmill and it tells you that you burn like 900 calories in, in half an hour. Honestly, I don't think I have ever, 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 ever burned a thousand calories in an hour. And I kick ass when I work out. I'm not going to say that this or some of the workouts that I've been doing for half an hour or 45 minutes. Not that I'm saying that those are the most hardcore advanced. That's what I'd say more about like insanity. Insanity is just killer. It's up there. I mean, that's when you can go, that's about as hard of an effort, maximum effort that you can put out in, in a cardio kind of a workout, in my opinion, for myself. Okay, just don't look at something and, and dismiss it until you've given it the college try, whatever the hell that means. Um, the first time I did Rev Abs, um, not only was I surprised how sweaty I got and how out of breath and how my heart rate, I kept checking you guys, my heart rate got up to about 145 a lot in this. Now, just for context, when I've had a metabolic assessment profile done at Lifetime, um, they have told me that my fat burning zone, <laughs> so in other words, the, the fat burning zone for me, the, the area where it's optimal for me to be in a you know, elevated cardio state, trainers can explain this better than me, it is 150. So when I'm like in a, in a range of say 140 to 160, that's a good range for me. When I get up to 180, that's when I'm like gasping for breath and dying. Um, I don't think I've ever gone up to anything higher than 190 maybe. Um, but anyway, I, I really got my heart rate up here. Furthermore, when you do some of these moves that he shows you and you, you think, oh, this is kind of funny and cute and by Lonson, and whatever, if you do it right, your abs and your core are going to be on fire the next day. Because I remember I got up the next day and I'm like, sweet mother of God, oh my God. All of the, the movements that he does, if you're really doing these movements the right way and, and focusing, you're using your core, you don't even realize it. Like, all I'm saying is open yourself up, pay attention to the instructions, really pay attention to form, um, and, and try different workouts. Um, you know, I hope it's helping you guys the more that I share some of this stuff, like giving you my, my feedback, but I'm really having fun and I'm really enjoying the fact that I have a solid selection of stuff to do at home and then, you know, like tonight, finally feel better enough that I can hit the gym. Um, so I'll be going over there to do, I gotta look and see what's on my schedule. Um, but I'll be hitting uh, the weights today and I'm so excited. Today's the first day that I'm feeling better. And I'm just gonna say again, let me press stop here, that I came out here to do my video for you guys. Ooh, hold on, maybe some good news. Oh, I'm just gonna stop. This is what I do. I get distracted and then I don't finish anything. Um, I came out here to do this video and um, I have not even had my coffee, I haven't even had my breakfast. I'm doing this for you first. Mr. Flo, there you go. Let me just add a couple of other things. So it's Monday, last, I was supposed to leave on vacation last Wednesday, but I am leaving a week from today. 
here's the beautiful thing. I was really still sick until yesterday evening. Stayed in all day yesterday. And then, guess who arrived last night on Flo? <laughs> and I also, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I don't even know why I tell you some of the stuff I tell you. But yeah, then <laughs> I was out of my normal deodorant, so I used a different deodorant yesterday. And um, yeah, it reacted poorly with my skin. So like, I have like this burn on my, underarm. Thank God it's winter so I can like wear long sleeves for a couple days. Thank God it happened while I was homesick. Can you imagine if that happened when I was in Florida and I was like, I'm not even going to wave the way I normally am because I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, I got to go, go find my, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I got to go find my, um, remote control. But first I'm going to make some coffee. So you guys have a good Monday. <laughs>